Hey everyone, this video is about metric unit conversions. So this is when you are working with meters, liters, or grams, and trying to use all of those different prefixes to convert from one into the other. Um, so I've got a couple of things for you, a couple of little ways to help you remember how to do this. Um, the first step is to remember this sentence right here. King Henry drinks unusually delicious chocolate milk. What this sentence does is gives us the beginning letters for all of our prefixes. So if you can remember the order of this sentence, King Henry drinks unusually delicious chocolate milk, then you can remember the order of the prefixes because these go from the largest to the smallest unit. Um, so then the second step would be to write down these letters up here at the top, just like I've done on my paper. And then I'm gonna show you with a few examples how to use these letters in the order that they're in to make these conversions. First, let me explain what these prefixes stand for. So the K stands for kilo, the H stands for hecto, the D stands for deca, the U is the unit, so the, this is your basic unit, your gram, your liter, or your meter. Uh, this D is for deci, C is for centi, M is for milli. So I have my three meters, and I need to change that into centimeters. So I'm going to use my letters up here to tell me how and where to use my, uh, to move my decimal point. So, if I start with my unit, which is my meter, and count over two spaces to get to centi, which is the unit that I'm trying to find, I would move one, two spaces to the right. So I'm gonna take my decimal. I know my decimal happens right after the whole number. I move it two spaces to the right. I need to fill in those empty spots with zeros. So my new answer, is 300 centimeters. Three meters is equal to 300 centimeters. Let me show you with millimeters and centimeters. It works the same if you're going from a smaller unit over to the larger unit as well. So I've got 9,280 millimeters and I need to convert that to centimeters. I start with my milli, count over one space to the left to my centi. So that means I'm going to take my decimal that's right here Move it one space over to the left and put it right there. So that gives me 928 centimeters. Okay, works for the other units as well. Right here we have milliliters, 65,920 milliliters, and I need to convert that into liters. So again, start with what I'm given, the milli. I'm going to liters, so that's my base unit right here. That means I need to count over one, two, three spaces. This time I'm moving to the left. So that means I need to move my decimal to the left three spaces. One, two, three. And it's gonna go right there in between the five and the nine. So then this is going to be 65.92. And I can just leave that extra zero off of the end there. When it's at the end of the decimal, you don't need it. Um, this one is another example. This one has the decimal already shown in this number. So we're going to start at the unit, the liter, and move over to milli. So this time we're gonna be moving to the right. So I start at the unit, one, two, three spaces to the right. One, two, three spaces to the right and then my decimal ends up right there. So this is gonna give me 8,910 milliliters. Same thing with the grams. I'm moving from the base unit to milligrams. So I need to start here with my unit, move over one, two, three spaces to the right. That means I'm going to move this over one, two, three spaces to the right fill in any of those empty spaces with the zeros. Make sure that when you're counting, you're counting uh, in between the numbers. So as you can see, this one right here is one jump. The second one is another jump. And then for my third jump, I didn't have anything there, so that's why I needed to fill that in with a zero. So this is going to be 
154,110 milligrams. Okay? And then for this one, we've got 806 milligrams, and I need to change that all the way over to kilograms. So I start here with my milligrams, and I'm going to count my way over to the kilo. So I'm moving one, two, three, four, five, six, six spaces to the left. Oops, sorry, 806. My decimal is right there at first, but I'm going to move it over six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got three empty spaces right here. I need to fill those in with zeros. So my decimal goes right there. So if you can remember this sentence, King Henry drinks unusually delicious chocolate milk, then you can just jot those uh, beginning letters down up at the top of your paper if you're taking a test or doing homework or whatever, and that will really help you with these conversions with the metric system. I hope this helps, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!